Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we are discussing a very important top, uh, point related to steady flow energy equation. Steady flow energy equation. What I have seen, why I have taken this uh, point in this video is that I have seen many of the students who find it difficult to find the exact correct value uh, of the questions related to steady flow energy equation although they use the equation correctly which means that is H1 plus C1 square by 2 plus G Z1 plus Q C V is equal to H2 plus C2 square by 2 plus G Z2 plus W C V. This is in specific terms, right? Means it is in uh, kilojoule per kg terms. Right? specific terms now what happens when you use this equation directly on questions related to steady flow energy equation and want to solve the equation and get the final value in terms of in terms of kilojoule per kg the final value anything any unknown in kilojoule per kg term or kilowatt which means kilojoule per second right then you don't get the answer correctly if you use this equation exactly same yes it's the correct answer uh, equation but you have to take in consideration the units let's start have you ever heard about basic or derived units I think you have heard in your school level physics see force what is the unit of force Newton you all know it's Newton okay SI unit so let's um, analyze it little more further what is force force is mass into acceleration you know the SI unit of mass it's in kg and acceleration it's meter per second square so this is your uh, unit for force and you know the SI unit is Newton so you can say that Newton is nothing but kg into meter per second square when you multiply acceleration with mass you get Newton so yes we got to know that Newton is nothing but kg per uh, meter by second square okay now Potential kinetic energy start with kinetic energy kinetic is, is, energy is nothing but uh, m half mv square if you take the units it will be kg for mass velocity is meter per second that is meter square per second square right so if we further bifurcate it is like this meter kg meter per second square into meter you know kg meter per second square is nothing but Newton Newton me meter right to meet uh, multiply with your distance this is nothing but your joule or joule right joule 
we know that newton meter is nothing but joule similarly for potential energy it is mgh that is kg meter per second square into meter height is in meter these are the basic units so what we get the as the derived unit this is nothing but newton and newton meter is nothing but joule okay so we got this from here now moving further if we see the equations for steady flow we have h1 if we talk about in specific terms h1 that is enthalpy it can be written as in kilojoule per kg terms if we talk about in kilojoule terms right plus what is this it's velocity that is meter square by second square okay what is gz1 that is meter per second square into meter right plus it's in kilojoule per kg term and i am not writing on the right hand side because it's same kilojoule per kg term and this this is also in kilojoule per kg term but what is this kilojoule per kg but is it what is this it is nothing but meter per second square right this one and as kg into meter per uh, square by second square is joule so we can say that this is nothing but it's in joule per kg terms same for this it's joule per kg terms right kilojoule per kg terms see if we want to get the final value in kilojoule per kg terms so we have to convert this into kilojoule so for that we have to write it like this joule per kg into 1000 kg into 1000 Plus kilojoule per kg. So then we can get our value exactly upon this. So this equation, if we want it in kilojoule per kg terms, it have to be converted into for kilojoule per kg h1 plus c1 square by 2000 plus g z1 by 1000 plus q c v is equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2000 plus g z2 by 2000 plus w c v right this should be used for calculation and for kilowatt just multiply your mass flow rate to each terms m dot c1 square by 2000 plus m dot G Z one by one thousand, right? One thousand plus its Q C V dot. This is your heat transfer per second. That is kilojoule per second term. Heat flow rate. It will be M dot H two plus M dot 
c2 square by 2000 plus m dot gz2 by 1000 and this is your workflow rate qcv dot so these are being used these two terms are being these two equations can be used for solving calculations so I think you have understood how important is units concerned while you are solving any numericals